The race for the White House remains unresolved. Five states are still undeclared, and as the counting continues, so the gap between the candidates is narrowing. Both have made national addresses, but with starkly different messages. Democratic challenger Joe Biden appealed for calm and urged people to wait until all the ballots have been accounted for. Republican President Donald Trump has repeated claims that there had been electoral fraud without offering any evidence. There have been a number of legal challenges demanding that the count stop. Some of those challenges have already been thrown out. And protesters in states where Trump is ahead have urged an end to counting, whereas states where he's behind have urged for more. Well, where does it stand right now? Joe Biden remains just shy of winning the post of 700, 270 electoral college votes. Donald Trump's route to victory, though, is looking increasingly more complicated. Well, we can speak to our reporters on the other side of the Atlantic now. We're going to go to Pennsylvania very shortly to speak to Andy Rosen in Philadelphia, where counting continues. But let's start in Washington, D.C., and speak to our reporter, Colin Campbell. Very good morning to you, Colin. The question people across Europe and the world really are asking now is, when are we going to get more clarity? When will all those votes have been counted? And we'll know who will be in the White House for the next four more years. Well, good morning, Rosie. I really wish I had a better answer for you, but we still don't know exactly when the final count will be decided and when the winner will be decided because those votes are still being counted as we speak. There are people counting the ballots overnight, especially in a state like Pennsylvania, which is a hotly contested battleground state and one that both candidates would need to win. Now, more so the president than for the former vice president, the challenger, of course, but both president, both candidates still needing more numbers in order to cross that threshold of 270 votes. And what's interesting is each state has its different way of counting ballots, the time allotted for counting the ballots, when they could count them. So there's a different system for each state. So it's very hard to determine. But all we know is that Every state is still counting these ballots. They're trying to do so as efficiently as possible, as quickly as possible, but not too fast to make more errors. And so a lot of Americans are hoping that it's decided by the weekend. We've heard quite recently from both of the candidates, Donald Trump made an extraordinary speech with some completely unfounded claims again of electoral fraud, so much so that some of the U.S. networks taking that speech had to pull away from it. Just explain to us, Colin, what were some of those claims and also what did Joe Biden have to say as well? Yeah, some of those claims were quite extraordinary, especially since the president did not provide any proof whatsoever. He kept talking about a rigged vote, a rigged election, voter fraud, voter suppression, a lot of these things that would allude that there is a broken system. Yet he had no concrete proof that we are amid a broken system. He talked about other people seeing and observing things and these very self-anecdotal expressions but he really didn't say how this was actually done, if there was any video of any impropriety at the same time. But some people who analyzed the speech saying he sounded somewhat defeated and somewhat desperate in a way that he was trying to dog whistle to his supporters saying that there was voter fraud and that there was some problem with the voting electorate altogether. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. And we think we will win the election very easily. We think there's going to be a lot of litigation because we have so much evidence, so much proof. And it's going to end up perhaps at the highest court in the land. We'll see. But we think there'll be a lot of litigation because we can't have an election stolen by, by, like this. The Trump administration has already filed several lawsuits regarding the counting of ballots in several states, but it's unclear if they will ever reach the Supreme Court because there's a special procedure in order to do so, and it would take a long time for them to reach the Supreme Court. Yet, the former vice president, Joe Biden, also had a speech. It was much shorter in length. He talked about having the confidence that he was going to be the victor overall. He also expressed Americans to be calm, but also patient. I ask everyone to stay calm. 
all the people to stay calm. The process is working. The count is being completed. And uh, we'll know very soon. In America, the vote is sacred. It's how people of this nation express their will. And it is the will of the voters, no one, not anything else, that chooses the president of the United States of America. So each ballot must be counted. And that's what we're going to see going through now. The former vice president's confidence is buoyed by the fact that as the mail-in ballots are counted, they are leaning more towards him. Uh, These mail-in ballots were mostly cast by Democrats who wanted to vote early, who also wanted to avoid COVID-19 exposure. So a lot of these mail-in ballots were mailed in by Democrats, Rosie. Colin, thank you very much. Well, let's move over from Washington over to the state of Pennsylvania, where Andy Rosen is in Philadelphia for us. All eyes really focused, Andy, on where you are now, because Donald Trump has to win Pennsylvania. Just explain to us what's going on as it stands now. Well, right now here in Pennsylvania, Rosie, you can see the convention center behind me. Dozens of police officers just left this location, which is usually an indication that vote counting has ended for the day. But some breaking news over the last couple of hours, local media here in Philadelphia are reporting that police acting on a tip pulled over a Hummer that was driving here from Virginia. Inside, there was a group of people, uh, possibly a family, and they took one man into custody, all in an alleged plot, apparently, to attack the convention center here. That's all we know at this point. So we'll be following that story as the morning progresses. In the meantime, what a raucous day it was yesterday here outside the convention center. Hundreds of Biden supporters were dancing in the streets. It was like a disco rave party out here. They were chanting, count every vote, count every vote. There were some Trump supporters waving big flags. They were demanding to get inside the convention center to observe the vote. And a judge eventually did allow them that right. But at the moment, right now, Rosie, Donald Trump leads Joe Biden by about 24,000 votes in the count here in Pennsylvania. But that's a huge difference from earlier when he was leading by hundreds of thousands of votes. So clearly, Joe Biden has narrowed that margin. And as the day goes on here and more vote counting continues, it looks like that margin could also narrow even more because many of the mail-in ballots that are coming in to be counted will likely favor Joe Biden more. So we'll have to watch and see, Rosie. You know, Andy, the story is far from over where you are. We know that the Trump campaign is looking again to launch further legal challenges to stop the voting. When might this all get tied up? When might we have a result? Well, the results we're hoping here in Pennsylvania will happen maybe by the end of today. But to pick up what you said about legal challenges, the Trump campaign is not doing so well so far on that particular score. They did file legal challenges to the vote counting here in Pennsylvania and in Georgia and in Michigan yesterday. And a judge in all three states shot them down. So not doing so great so far. But that's just the start, Rosie. There will be a torrent of legal challenges that the Trump campaign plans to file uh, if all the indications are there. And the Joe Biden team has already assembled a team of lawyers months ago, in fact, just for this purpose, to try to put out these little fires as they come up uh, throughout these next uh, few days and weeks. Andy, thank you very much for speaking to us there from Pennsylvania and also Colin Campbell on the scene for us in Washington, D.C. Thank you to you both.